gang ranch and she looked at me like I was crazy. The bike is loaded, and I mean loaded, and it's a beautiful day, and uh, the start of what could be a pretty big trip, uh, heading up north. Gonna go out Highway 20, not all the way to Bella Coola, but explore that area out there, and then head up to Vanderhoof, and uh, maybe out to Prince Rupert. So we'll see. We'll see how the weather goes and all the other variables. How you doing? Good, how are you? Not too bad. Well, you brought the photo pass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. The places you can go. 400k, I figure I got. Oh, yeah. Nice. It is pretty quiet on the Sea to Sky this morning from Squamish to Whistler. Pemberton. Lovely Pemberton. We're all grubbed up. Just gotta stop for fuel in Mount Curry. And uh, then we're on our way onto the Anderson Lake High Line. Oh, that's a Thai restaurant again. Cool. So we get some fuel here, and then head for Darcy. Lovely Darcy. Well, that was pretty quick. Made short work of that. I am hot though. <laughs> I always do this. I'm cold leaving. I get to Pemberton, I'm like, oh, I'm so cold. And then I hit here and I'm like, I'm dying of heat. I'm dying of heat. When do you want to stop for lunch? I was thinking our, our stop spot there, uh, where the picnic table used to be. Oh yeah, or the, uh, before the picnic table, the, the cairn. Yeah. Yeah. We are rigged for off-road. Bike feels heavy, drifty. Big Hill out of Darcy is in very nice shape. Smooth. That's weird. Clicks up and the road is in very nice shape, very smooth. Not bad. I gotta let some air out of my tires. Yeah. She just feels really drifty. Uh, most of it's just the weight, but yeah, this fire damage is unbelievable, eh? Out when that was, oh, it was a nice little lunch stop. Ken's gone ahead. I'm trying to stay out of his dust. Oh, I love this road. Nice to see all the underbrush coming back. The trees will take a bit longer.
That's such a great shot. But it's different up on the plateau, eh? Yeah, beautiful. This is the wildest part of it, eh? Like just burned right down to the rock. Yeah. And you know, this is what, a year later or whatever. Yeah, nothing. nothing. Well, a little, little bit of grass. Little tiny bit. Yeah. yeah. They put the put the tele or the power poles back up. They were down. Yeah, and you certainly couldn't see uh, Carpenter Lake from here. Galicum. Good. Three forty six. We're gonna have a look at the hydro campground and see if there's space there. It's nice and easy. Oh. Okay, that was long enough. I was getting tired. So we got me, Kara. In behind the campsite is, is this river here, which is called Cayuche Creek. But one of the coolest things <laughs> that's back here is the Seton Power Canal Bridge, which takes the water of the Seton Canal over the top of Cayuche Creek. Let's go have a look. So that's the Duffy Lake Road back there. This is the first wood bridge that you go across going towards Lillooet over Power Canal.
That's the canal looking towards Lillooet and the Fraser River. We are all packed up and ready to go. So we're just airing up here at the power station. I noticed this is an old turbine here, an old water turbine. So the big worry here has always been the weather. If it's too hot and dry, then you get forest fires. And if it's too wet, you get mud. So we are actually talking about canceling the whole trip yesterday because they're calling for rain. So far, here, it's very nice, but we'll see what it's like in Clinton. That's West Pavilion over there. Hey, this is Fountain. Last gas before you hit the pavilion. I don't know why they would put that up. I've never seen that no through road one before. Yeah. It would probably go anyways, but it's a long way in, a long way out. Yeah. It's a nice ride. Let's do that. Okay. It's Hat Creek Road here. Ken and I had a great trip down there to Cornwall Fire Lookout a year back. Very green and pretty up here. Sure. I didn't get any gas, and the lady there said, you know, which way are you going? I said, well, we're hoping to go to Gang Ranch, and she looked at me like I was crazy. She said, I've heard that both Big Bar and Gang Ranch are horrible. Oh. What do you think? I think we go up the highway here, turn left, go have a look. Right, anyway. Go look. Yeah. I'm just so reluctant to call it quits before even looking, you know. But you could easily get into a bit of a situation. Start a big bar road over to the ferry. Goes around the top of uh, top of Jesmond. So that's good. At least you know you're open. Lunch stop. Add some sandwiches and soup. Sprinkling a little bit. This is 27 clicks up the Big Bar Road. Well, this is called Riley Dam Rec Site. It's very pretty. It's a pretty area, this one. Nice. Though. And that's Jesmond right there. You can see it. Uh, have fun. Good riding with you. And uh, we'll talk soon.
This is Meadow Lake Road. Horses. This is Canoe Creek, which I have never heard of before. the Fraser down there again. This is the road I've been told is the best. Somebody online said that. Who knows? It's not very mucky, but uh, it is very slick. Gotta find some place to uh, camp soon. Because it is 3.35. Picks up from Gang Ranch and it seems okay. I am a long way past the buildings of Gang Ranch and it's still all the private property signs are like Gang Ranch property, keep out.
three kilometers from turning north. Gas barge and green. So that comes up out of Mud Lake. Cut the camera off for a while because it was raining. There's still lots of rain around, but I'm actually coming to uh, Highway 20. Been looking for somewhere to camp, but there's either ditches or it's ranch land, or uh, there's a wreck site just up Highway 20. So I will go there. Absolutely perfect. 